Happy New Year gamers, I'm going to show you my new style of urban basing. Check it out. So the first thing we're going to need is some polymer clay. I'm using Sculpey 3 here. Uh, comes in these little packets for about $3 a pack. Now this has a lot of colors. For what we're about to do, I recommend black. It's going to save you a lot of work later. And this stuff is really easy to work with. It's very pliable, very moldable. Uh, you don't have to work it for too long. You're not mixing it with anything. Very, 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 very simple to work with. Now what we want is a flat sheet, a couple of millimeters thick. So get a rolling pin of some kind or some big heavy round object and start flattening this out. Once you have that pretty flat like so, and you don't have to square off the edges, leave that exactly like it is. Grab yourself a Green Stuff World texture roller. I'm using mesh. I really like the grating effect, the wire effect this has. Um, it's not a lot of flat panels. It's not a lot of things that I need large pieces to show detail on. I can do that with very little. This one is perfect. And all we're gonna do is roll the texture into the uh, Sculpey there. And you'll see how that comes out. Just try to keep your pressure even, go slow. So once you roll that out, we get a panel like you see here. Now you'll notice some parts rolled better. There's a couple of flat parts up near that upper right corner. And there's a tear up there. That's totally fine. This is actually just what we want. Now preheat your oven if you haven't already. Sculpey calls for 275 for every quarter inch thick 15 minutes. We're only a couple millimeters, so you don't need higher temp and we don't need to go very long. Get yourself a baking tray. Uh, I'm using parchment paper. That's what I rolled this out on. It's just a good surface. Uh, it won't burn, won't heat up, and you can just have it on there and it will make sure that the Sculpey doesn't stick to anything and ruin your fiance's great pan. In the oven she goes. Again, we don't have a very thick piece, so we only need to use 15 minutes and that's possibly overkill, but go ahead and watch your time. Phone alarms are handy. And when you're all done, grab an oven mitt, pull that out carefully and let it cool down a bit. Do not try to pull it right off. Aside from it being hot, it's not fully settled. So when you're done, this is what you end up with. Now, this is not gonna be rock hard. It's got some bendability to it, but you can see it's only a wefer thin. At this point, grab yourself a bronzy, brassy gold and a flat brush. We are going to dry brush the whole thing so we get a very, um, very bronzy, very dirty, dull metal. The idea here is we wanna get broken bits of metal and put these on a base. And my trick for that is just to dry brush copper, bronze, gold, and then to put a little bit of silver over that, as you're gonna see. I'm using Reaper Miniatures Filigree Silver. It's a very bright, silvery metal. And this, I'm, again, just gonna do a very light dry brush on parts of the metal. Uh, even some stippling is not out of place here. It'll look just fine, but you just you just want some difference You just want some high tones instead of the low brassy colors Now that's all painted up and you guys can probably see why I recommended just use plain black Sculpey They do make metal colors but the look would not be like this and you'd have to do more painting. It's just easy, especially if you're trying to do metal, just get black, dry brush your metal, comes out great. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is actually take a piece and put it on our base. Now, we have way more than we need for one base here and that's the idea. This is a piece you can use that can give you, I don't know, seven, eight, nine base coverings. Um, a word of warning, it is a little bit brittle. So if you just try scissoring this or using nippers, You'll get cracks, you'll get breaks you don't expect. I recommend uh, a hobby knife. And again, if you keep this to only a couple millimeters, it cuts pretty easily. It's not a super hard, dense material. It is somewhat flexy, like I said. Uh, it's very light and 
you can see that was a pretty clean that was a pretty clean cut right there and that's the piece i'm going to use the rest of this we're just going to put aside if i were assembly lining bases i would just be doing a bunch of these at once but i'm just doing one to show you guys how it works and trim off get the get the piece the way you want it to look again this is a broken piece of mesh or metal and we want it to look a bit abused we want it to look a bit broken and you can see now why i chose the mesh versus a flat panel get some super glue put that on the contact points um, be aware this is not going to be totally flat either the sculpey tends to bend a little bit warp a little bit with temperature just make sure you have good contact on the base when you glue it and that should hold fine next we need texture paste i'm using huge miniature stone this is very quick drying it's easy to use just get yourself a coffee stir stick Cut your stick to a flat angle. It just makes it a little easier to work with and uh, gives you a little more control of the paste itself. Mix it around a little bit so you don't have a dry or a wet spot. And then we're just gonna put that on the plastic parts of the base. Again, don't cover up your mesh. That just defeats the whole purpose. You could do that if it's gonna look messy. It's gonna look very uh, gritty. And I suppose in some instances you might wanna do that. But I'm at this point just not covering that over. Once it's all covered, get this where you want it. I tend to push it into the edges of the base so you don't just see black Sculpey. And yeah, fluff it up a little. YouTuber named PVA Blood had an idea for spent shell casings out of angel hair. Check it out. This is really optional, but it's gonna contrast really well. We're gonna paint a couple pieces of angel hair. And again, I'm just using a gold. You can use a brass or a copper, whatever looks like shell. Uh, take a piece of angel hair and I broke this into shorter pieces so it doesn't uh, bend so much it doesn't get into so much trouble and we're just gonna paint the vast majority of this stick of pasta basically so that it's all covered in your gold your copper whatever shell casing color you pick I recommend having a blob of blue tack or sticky putty, something there, because you can just stick the end of this in and let it dry. I would do a couple pieces at a time because this will make quite a few little shell bits. Once that's dry, take your pieces and grab your hobby knife again. Um, you can use nippers on this. I don't recommend it. This is easy enough to cut with a, with a blade or an X-Acto. And we just want to get little bits that look presumably like it came from a bolter or an auto gun, something you're dealing with. This, this would work equally as well in a World War II game like Bolt Action as it would in Warhammer 40K. Just anywhere that's modern, urban, or sci-fi, you're good to go. get a neat little pile like that make sure your texture paste is dry now we're gonna start adding some shells grab your super glue and grab your base and just pick a few spots where you want this to go figure kind of with where you want to put your model and where you want the shells to be piled up now it's worth saying at this point that if you're going to do this style of basing, you don't want to prime your models on the base because it will wipe out all the color we just put on the mesh, the texture paste itself, and the shells. I recommend if you're going to do this, you want to prime your models separately. Maybe uh, blue tack them to a paint stick or a cardboard box if you're using an airbrush. 
free. Either way, you don't want to paint over all the detail. And there's our base, shells, mesh, and ash or concrete texture. And you're probably gonna have a jar of shells when you're done with this. Just keep stacking them up because you'll need them later. And there's our base in all its glory. So if you guys are planning on a city fighting army, this may be useful to you. I hope it is. If it has been, please like, comment, any other suggestions or questions. Subscribe to see more videos like this. And have a very good one. Later.